Hey guys, Mr. Preacher Man 75 with you. You're looking at my Sig Sauer P938, 9mm, and this is a video response to Mac over at Double Tap Carry Systems, who is having a contest and giving away holsters. So he's asked us to show our everyday carry gun and explain why we've chosen that as our carry. So this is my SIG 938 and this just recently has kind of taken over as my everyday carry um, and I carry it most of the time in this one-of-a-kind custom-made outside the waistband kydex holster from Double Tap Carry Systems. I say it's one-of-a-kind because it's the tan digital camo. Max said it was the first one they made with the tan digital camo and it was so difficult to work with they probably wouldn't make any other. So I don't know if they've made any more out of this or not but um, that one's mine and I really really like it. Um, and it's really because of this holster that this gun has become has, has kind of entered my uh, rotation as a uh, everyday carry gun. Before that I was just using it as a pocket gun um, when I couldn't carry one of my uh, other guns so so anyway that's that's my newest rig uh, I like it because it's small it's easy to carry this holster makes it really easy to carry um, it conceals well in this holster um, and, uh, and and just the the uh, the ease of carry is probably why why I like that so much that's my SIG P250 and that really is probably the gun I carry the most, um, certainly up until the last month or so. Um, this has been my primary carry gun. Um, and this is the one, if, uh, if Mac, you choose me to, to get a holster, this is the one I would want it for, a SIG P250 subcompact. Um, I chose this gun for my primary carry for a couple of different reasons. My first carry gun was a... Uh, Ruger SR9C. Uh, and I really, really liked that gun, but as I got more co comfortable carrying and, and doing more different things, um, I decided to change, and this is the gun I picked to change to uh, for a couple different reasons. First, there's no external safety on this gun. The Ruger has an external thumb safety, and I would find that it was getting bumped on or off just throughout the course of my carrying it every day um, and I did not like that at all uh, and so that's kind of what got me to think about changing uh, so there's no external safety on this gun this is a double action only gun and a lot of people don't like that I do I do like it um, it makes me really comfortable carrying with uh, with a round in the chamber knowing that the hammer is down and that the only way that this is going to fire is by that long double action trigger. I like it. It makes me feel safer and more confident. Um, so, so that played a, played a big part in deciding to carry this gun as well. Um, the magazine is uh, 12 plus 1. And it also accepts 15 and 17 round magazines because the P250 you can get it configured in subcompact, compact, and full size, and all of the, all of those magazines will fit into the smaller gun. So um, I actually have a backup magazine that's that's a 15 round magazine, uh, much like much like the Glock, and I do have a Glock 26 as well. Um, it's a similar size to the Glock 26. It's a little bit heavier. Um, it's actually a little bit thinner um, than the Glock 26, but anyway, they they serve a similar function, and I, I really like the Sig. Uh, I like the way it shoots. I like the double action hammer fired um, operation of it. So anyway, hopefully that answers your question, Mac. I appreciate the uh, the opportunity to uh, to enter and hopefully win one of those uh, inside the waistband holsters from from you guys as well. I've been super pleased with this one. Um, and uh, anyway, hope that helps you guys out. Uh, if you haven't found Mac over at Double Tap Carry Systems, you need to go check him out. They have videos on YouTube. He also has a website, um, and they, they make 
just fantastic quality Kydex holster. So anyway, this is Mr. Preacher Man 75. See you soon.